Following a harrowing childbirth, Mr. Smith made a life-altering decision to adopt a dog for his paralyzed son in hopes of improving their situation. Little did they know that the events unfolding months later would shock everyone. Terry Smith felt a storm brewing inside him on a scorching afternoon in a tranquil Montana neighborhood. With countless worries weighing heavily on his mind, he embarked on a quest to find a solution. Today marked his son's first birthday and Terry was determined to get a gift that would leave a lasting impression. Long before little Timmy's arrival, Terry and his wife had meticulously planned what they would give him upon turning one. They had even envisioned a grand celebration in his honor. However, reality painted a starkly different picture. The preceding months had been fraught with challenges for Mr. Smith, rendering the idea of an animal-themed party for his son unfeasible. With a heart full of hope and determination, he redirected his focus toward what he believed could alleviate their struggles. A canine companion. Overwhelmed by the reassurances from numerous individuals who attested to the transformative power of pets, Terry embraced this idea with fervor. To him, a furry friend seemed to offer a beacon of solace, surpassing the potential of any medical intervention. Driven by an unwavering love for his son, he embarked on his quest like a man possessed by a noble mission. Stepping into the bustling animal shelter, Terry found himself engulfed in a sea of adorable canines, each competing for his attention with wagging tails and hopeful eyes. Amidst this heartwarming chaos, one creature stood out, a dainty English toy terrier, its gaze brimming with curiosity and warmth. Drawing upon his research into various dog breeds, Terry felt a connection with this particular terrier. Its petite stature seemed perfectly suited to Timmy's needs, offering companionship without overpowering him during playtime. With unwavering loyalty and a protective nature, it embodied the ideal companion for his beloved son. As his newborn entered the world, the delivery room fell into an eerie silence, pierced only by Timmy's cries. Terry, overwhelmed with relief at the melodic sound of his son's healthy lungs, savored the moment. Yet, the birth had been a tumultuous ordeal, casting a pall of anxiety over both him and the mother. For agonizing moments, dread gripped Terry's heart as he grappled with the specter of impending tragedy. However, against all odds, the baby emerged alive and well. Yet, their elation was short-lived as medical personnel swiftly whisked the newborn away to an adjacent room, denying Terry and his wife the chance to embrace their child. The haunting expressions etched on the nurses' faces still lingered vividly in Terry's memory, unsettling him to his very core. Never before had he experienced such profound fear and uncertainty. As Terry paced anxiously in the waiting room, he couldn't shake the haunting image of his son lying on the hospital bed. The doctor's words echoed in his mind, revealing the heartbreaking truth. Timmy's spine had been injured during birth, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down. Despite the grim prognosis, Terry clung to a glimmer of hope, determined to remain optimistic. When the doctor recommended extensive physical therapy, Terry didn't hesitate to agree. He would have agreed to anything if it meant there was a chance for Timmy to walk again. Positivity became Terry's lifeline, guiding him through the uncertainty with unwavering faith in his son's potential. Unfortunately, Terry's wife didn't see things from his perspective. The news of their son's paralysis shattered her, and she carried a heavy burden of guilt, blaming herself for his condition. Despite reassurances from the doctor that she bore no fault, her grief mingled with postpartum depression, transforming her into a mere shadow of her former self. The once vibrant woman now struggled to muster the strength to embrace Timmy withdrawing from his physical therapy sessions. Meanwhile, Terry worked late into the night to meet the mounting medical bills, leaving her alone with Timmy for prolonged periods. Aware that Timmy lacked the necessary stimulation, Terry proposed the idea of getting a dog, only to be met with her indifferent shrug. Deep down, Terry held a silent wish that the addition of a dog to their family might also uplift his wife's spirits. With the extravagant birthday celebration they had envisioned, now a distant dream, he seized the opportunity to introduce a furry companion into their lives. 
longing for the unwavering love of a canine to bring joy to Timmy's world. As his gaze met the earnest eyes of the English toy terrier, Terry sensed an inexplicable bond forming. He had delved into literature, admiring the virtues of this breed's loyalty and affection, convinced it was the perfect match for his son. According to experts, the dynamic attraction with the playful dog could invigorate the muscles of a paralyzed individual, propelling them towards newfound strength and resilience. Terry harbored no illusions about the dog's ability to miraculously teach his son to crawl or walk. Yet, he envisioned the canine companion transforming Timmy's mundane days into extraordinary escapades. Upon discovering the English Terrier, Terry embarked on the intricate adoption process, navigating through paperwork, signatures, and fees with a potent blend of anticipation and hope. With unwavering resolve, he pledged to provide a nurturing home for the pint-sized terrier, heralding the dawn of a new chapter in their lives. As Terry embarked on the journey home with their newfound furry friend, a gulf of emotion swirled within him. Anxious thoughts crowded his mind. How would Timmy respond to the surprise? Would fear cloud his son's eyes? Or would the dog cower in apprehension? The answers awaited him just around the bend. Before crossing the threshold of their home, Terry made a detour to a local bakery, determined to mark Timmy's birthday with a sweet celebration. With a delicious cake and a dainty bow for the dog, Terry sought to infuse the occasion with an extra layer of warmth and joy. Arriving home with the surprise cake cradled in one arm and the endearing dog by his side, Terry's heart fluttered with a blend of nervous anticipation and cautious optimism. He understood the significance of these forthcoming moments in reshaping the atmosphere within their home. However, as he swung open the front door to usher in their newest family member, his wife greeted him with a disapproving frown. Seriously? she questioned, her tone laden with exasperation. Now I have to juggle taking care of a child and a dog while you're locked away in your office all day? Though stung by her words, Terry resisted the urge to let his smile falter into a grimace. Empathy surged within him as he recognized the depths of his wife's anguish, understanding that her journey toward healing still lay ahead. With a composed demeanor, he gently reassured her, detailing the arrangements he had already made with their housekeeper to tend to the dog's needs this morning thereby alleviating her burden, and with quiet resolve, he volunteered to shoulder the responsibility of the evening walk himself, seeking to ease her load and foster a sense of unity within their home. The dog would provide enough of a distraction for little Timmy that she could have more time for herself, he remarked. Her response was a bitter chuckle. Do you want me to leave our son alone with a dog he doesn't know? She challenged. Of course not, Terry countered sensing the simmering anger within him, but maintaining his composure. I just want you to watch over them when they play. He can't play. He can't even crawl, she retorted sharply. He will, Terry affirmed, his tone carrying a finality that brooked no further debate. With a resigned shrug, she accepted the cake from him as Terry made his way to Timmy's room, where the baby lay in his crib, clutching a plush toy to his chest as always. Scooping up his son, Terry lavished him with affection before guiding them both towards the sitting room. The dog, adorned with its charming bow, let out a soft bark of greeting as they entered. Timmy's eyes sparkled with delight at the sight of his new furry friend, his tiny hands eagerly reaching out for the terrier. Setting Timmy down gently, Terry settled in behind him, emitting a soft whistle to capture the pup's attention. The dog approached tentatively, its tail wagging eagerly with anticipation. As the boy extended his hand and gently stroked its head, his squeals of delight filled the room, momentarily lifting the heavy atmosphere. Even Terry's wife couldn't help but crack a smile. In the ensuing days, the dog seamlessly integrated into their household routine. Terry ensured the dog was fed each morning before heading off to work, while the housekeeper attended to its needs throughout the day. However, Terry's wife remained mostly indifferent to the dog's presence. The playful nature of the dog didn't go unnoticed, particularly by Terry, who observed a remarkable transformation in his son's demeanor. Once reserved and quiet, the boy now radiated joy, constantly requesting to be placed on the floor 
beside his newfound furry companion. His laughter filled the air upon Terry's return from work, and even his babbling began to show signs of improvement. After a few weeks, even Terry's wife acknowledged that adopting the dog had been a stroke of genius. Timmy's unwavering desire to play with his new canine companion provided her with much-needed respite, as the dog readily embraced his role as Timmy's playmate. With Timmy occupied and the dog by his side, she found herself with more opportunities to unwind and prioritize her own well-being. As a result, she managed to increase her therapy sessions to three times a week, with each passing day bringing a noticeable improvement in her mood. Gradually, she began to shower her son with newfound affection, culminating in a heartwarming gesture. She volunteered to take Timmy and the dog for a stroll around the block. To top it off, she proposed the name Duke for their furry companion, marking her full acceptance of him as a cherished member of the family. The Smith household was brimming with positivity, all thanks to the presence of the tiny terrier. Over the ensuing months, Terry witnessed a remarkable transformation in his son. Once a baby who struggled to lift his arms, Timmy now displayed newfound independence, sitting unaided, and even using his bottom to propel himself in pursuit of his furry companion, Duke. Remarkably, Duke seemed to comprehend Timmy's limitations, patiently adapting his play to accommodate his tiny friend's movements. Together, they embarked on playful escapades across the floor, chasing after toys and balls with unbridled enthusiasm. Furthermore, the fruits of Timmy's physical therapy sessions began to manifest. His core muscles grew stronger with each passing day, nearly matching the vigor of children his age. Meanwhile, his legs underwent a noticeable strengthening process, offering a glimmer of hope for future mobility. Though Timmy had yet to master the art of crawling, Terry remained optimistic about his son's progress. The change extended to Terry's wife, too. Emerging from her cocoon of sorrow, she began to engage actively in playtime with both her son and the dog. Terry frequently encountered her on the floor with them upon returning from work, her infectious smile melting his heart. Duke, with his wagging tail and unwavering gaze, transcended his role as a mere pet, becoming the catalyst for his family's renewed sense of happiness. As weeks turned into months, Timmy continued to make remarkable progress. The doctor shared with the family the exciting news that Timmy was beginning to flex his knees, prompting tears of joy from both Terry and his wife. Their once hopeless situation had been transformed since Duke had entered their lives. Encouraged by the doctor's observations, Terry learned that Timmy's interaction with Duke were not only fostering his physical development, but also strengthening his spine. Although the prospect of Timmy walking remained uncertain, the doctor expressed optimism about the possibility of him learning to crawl. Remarkably, this milestone arrived sooner than expected. Terry's heart raced as he received an unexpected video call while at work, a rare occurrence from his wife. With trembling hands, he answered, fearing the worst. Though her words were incomprehensible amid her excited cries, the scene captured in the video spoke volumes. There was little Timmy, joyfully crawling after Duke. The dog playfully held a ball in his mouth, leaping around as if daring his tiny companion to snatch it away. Despite the awkward angle of Timmy's legs, he propelled himself forward with determination, his laughter echoing through the room. That evening, Terry purchased another cake, and the family celebrated once again. This time, the atmosphere was markedly different from the day Duke first arrived. Timmy joyously rolled on the floor in pursuit of Duke. His wife's smile radiated warmth, and Terry basked in the belief that life couldn't possibly be better. However, his assumption proved to be incorrect. On a serene Saturday morning, Timmy and Duke frolicked in the living room, while Terry savored a quiet moment on the porch with a captivating book. Amidst the serene ambience, with nothing but a gentle sway of leaves and sporadic bird songs filling the air, Duke erupted into incessant barking from the living room. Intrigued by the dog's abrupt outburst, Terry glanced up from his book and called out to him. Duke's barking continued unabated, signaling that something was amiss, though Terry couldn't discern the cause behind Duke's sudden agitation. Meanwhile, his wife was occupied with a brief shower, and faint murmurs of Timmy's voice wafted from the living room, creating an illusion of normalcy. 
Duke's persistent barking hinted at a heightened state of alertness, suggesting that the dog might be attempting to convey something significant. Intrigued and slightly concerned, Terry decided to follow Duke to investigate what had captured the dog's attention. Duke led him to the living room, where Timmy was playing with toy soldiers, standing on his own two feet. Terry felt his knees weaken, and he had to lean against the wall to steady himself to avoid fainting. It should have been impossible, but his eyes confirmed it. His paralyzed son, whom doctors believed incapable of ever walking, was standing upright on his own legs. Tears welled in Terry's eyes, and he couldn't suppress the loud sobs that escaped his mouth. Terry urged his legs to move and rushed towards the bathroom, nearly knocking down the door as he knocked. His wife emerged wearing her bathrobe, but he didn't wait for her to change as he pulled her to the living room, where Timmy was still standing and playing. Unlike Terry, his wife couldn't keep her legs from giving out. She slid to the floor, bursting into tears, and Timmy found himself facing another crying parent in the span of a few minutes. He turned to face her, his tiny feet shuffling on the floor without losing either strength or balance. Terry's wife let out another sob. Can you come to me, baby? She managed to say through the tears. Timmy glanced at his unsteady legs with a frown, unsure if he could reach his mom. But then, his faithful friend, Duke, rushed to his side, allowing Timmy to steady himself by placing a hand on the dog's back. With Duke's support, the two-year-old began to shuffle towards his mother. Terry cheered him on, urging him to maintain his balance. Timmy stumbled a couple of times, but Duke remained by his side, matching his hesitant steps. When Timmy finally reached his mother's welcoming embrace, even Duke couldn't contain his joy, letting out a triumphant yelp. The English toy terrier, whom Terry had welcomed into their home a year ago, had just accomplished a remarkable feat by teaching his son how to walk. Overwhelmed by this realization, Terry scooped up the dog and embraced him tightly, recognizing him as the furry hero he truly was. This incident instilled a newfound admiration for Duke within the family. Terry couldn't shake off the astonishment of Duke's impact on their lives. In an unexpected turn of events, the dog had defied expectations, bringing joy to Timmy, restoring his wife's smile, and reuniting their family. Though Duke might be small in size, his contribution was monumental, and Terry would forever be indebted to him. What are your thoughts on this incredible story? Have you ever encountered a pet that played a significant role in helping its owners overcome health challenges? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this story, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your support. See you next time. Bye for now.